Setting. 
Thank you. 
Burning lamps are accounts 
Martinez, an archaeologist, has been searching for Cleopatra's tomb for 20 years. Her theory is Cleopatra was likely buried at a temple of Isis at Tapasiris Magna and not in Alexandria. She thinks Cleopatra negotiated with Octavian to allow her to bury Mark Antony in Egypt. She wanted to be buried with him in order to reenact the legend of Isis and Osiris. The true meaning of the cult of Osiris is that it grants immortality. After their deaths, the gods would allow Cleopatra to live with Antony in another form of existence, so they would have eternal life together. Recently, Kathleen's team uncovered Oh, 
centuries after her death. And now we have no more than 700 fragmented lines in total. The mystery is what or who destroyed the extensive works of such a renowned poet. Christian censorship is the one controversial theory for the disappearance of Sappho's poetry. It was too sexually explicit, some say, or repressed because it was just, quote, too gay. Pope Gregory VII ordered it to be incinerated in 1070 as one medieval scholar claimed. This theory got so much popularity that our modern word, lesbian, comes from Sappho's birthplace, Lesbos. While the adjective Sapphic also comes directly from Sappho's name. However, the idea that Sappho was gay, therefore persecuted by the Pope, is all just speculation. Homosexual relationships in ancient Greece were not a big deal. Sappho likely grew up in a wealthy household, attended school and learned poetry, music, and more. What may be the more realistic explanation is less exciting. The transition from the Roman Empire to the early medieval ages. Trends turned away from lyric poetry and back to the study of classics such as Plato and Aristotle. Historians of the time transferred works on papyrus to newer formats, and it is likely Sappho's work was not at the top of their list. Back then, whatever was not copied by hand vanished forever. If this is true, then Sappho's poetry was all but gone by the 12th century. What made it even more difficult was Sappho's dialect. She wrote everything in Greek Aeolian, which was obscure even during her time. By the 2nd century, writers commented on how hard it was to understand Sappho. Similar to how some today find Shakespeare's English hard to understand. Next is the mystery of the elongated skulls. The ritual of deforming the skull into elongated and unnatural shapes has been an integral part of a number of societies for many thousands of years. The reasons for the elongated skulls are a mystery. The method has been quite similar across history. The skulls of newborn babies are extremely malleable. Were placed on the baby's forehead and back of the skull. Sometimes thick padding and straps were used. The boards were wrapped tightly by bands of cloth and strapped down in order to make the skull push backwards and upwards to create strange oval shapes that become 
Thank you. 